We had a few nights of intensified eruptive activity in the K1 crater, which is the last remaining vent in the Sundunka uh, crater chain, which is still erupting. It created lava flows toward the south and north, but interestingly also toward the west, where uh, a group of geologists actually were able to approach it, take sample, as you can see here, and provide a scale for us. The tongue of the lava toward the north actually touched and breached slightly the L1, which is the lava defense wall for the Swartzengi power plant and the Blue Lagoon. Uh, we were able actually to cool it down by spraying uh, cold water on it, it was done by our uh, firefighters, uh, as you can see in this beautiful map from the MBL, uh, the slight breach has now stopped, it doesn't go any further, uh, but it continues to flow and drain the lava lake. Interestingly enough, that lava lake, which is not drained, collapsed, and uh, you can see it here. This creates, of course, the continuous uh, uh, flow of the magma to the surface erupting as a lava. Uh, creates uh, air pollution problems and uh, air pollution uh, problem continues also at the same time that we have the sourcing volcanic system which I believe is uh, independent from this eruption continues also to uh, inflate and rise the land that means the flow of the magma uh, compared to exit of it from, from wherever where, where it is is more uh, than what is actually going out this Input of the lava to this reservoir, which I think is like a aquifer or a sponge, is around one to two uh, cubic meters per second. That makes it around uh, three to six tons per second of magma coming, adding to that uh, portion. Gas pollution, as I mentioned, is uh, also a problem, but it's flowing toward the north and will be also toward the West in coming days, so less uh, danger for the most populated areas. Risk assessment, which is a legal document you can see here, stays the same. When we publish this and Icelandic authorities publish uh, any failure to observe this and health and safety issues, is your responsibility it is published. This is the summary that we have now from the Icelandic Meteorological Office for today. And uh, I covered all of it and a little bit more, so you will have also all the time receiving more. Um, when we analyze uh, the data that we have and also the latest updates by the Icelandic authorities about these uh, fascinating eruptions, which has happened since the last uh, six, seven months.